Okay, here's a quick video on using Dropbox. Uh, I do most of these videos for real estate agents, but this video would work for anyone who wants to use Dropbox. Um, first thing you do is you go to dropbox.com and download the Dropbox to your computer if you're still using a uh, computer, which most of us are. Uh, PC or a Mac, doesn't matter. You get two gigabytes for free. Download it. Once you download it, I'll go back over here. You can go up to the folder, open it, and drop as many files off of your computer into this Dropbox folder. Once you drop these files into your folder, now you're going to be able to find them pretty much anywhere, uh, anywhere you're at by going into uh, Dropbox.com or using the app on your smartphone or your tablet. So once you get it on your tablet, you simply download the app and here's the app once you open it up on the iPad. On the iPhone it looks very similar and now all your files as you can see right here will be that you moved from your computer will be available on your iPad as well. These files are stored up in the Dropbox so they're not on your iPad so you can get to them at any time anywhere. Same with your iPhone and same with your computer or any computer for that matter. So it makes it really easy to take files with you whether they're photos or you name it. I'm asked a lot which iPhone or which iPad should I get the 16 gig, 32 gig or the uh, 64 gig and I tell everybody get the 16 gig and just store all your photos and everything else either on the cloud uh, that Apple provides or the Dropbox and um, just get a little bit extra storage. You can store a lot more stuff and then have it everywhere you go. So just a, a few little features of Dropbox that I enjoy. Um, I enjoy the sharing feature so if I forgot my uh, my listing presentation um, or it wasn't on my iPad because I was just, it just did happen to me. I had a uh, large presentation I had to do and just got the new iPad too and didn't move the presentation over so I was able to go to my Dropbox. Here it is. Tap this little arrow up in the upper right hand corner drop it right into Keynote which you can see comes up right here and then I was back in business not having to uh, panic that I didn't have the file I can also go into any many of my other apps and uh, send it to send it to these other other applications as well you can also save this as a favorite by hitting the star I already have it saved as a favorite so it'll be easier to find in the bottom menu bar but if I wanted to share this with somebody Rather than sending the huge file, which I think it's 17, 18 pages in a PowerPoint presentation, I can tap that little chain link right there and email a link. Once you email a link, they're going to get this email that looks like this with a link where they can download that file. So rather than you having to send it off via email um, in a huge file that's attached to that email, you can just send them a quick link and it's easy for, easy for them, easier for you to just tap it and uh, download that file for their own use very simply. Down here at the bottom, you'll see that there's favorites. Well, as I showed you, I was able to save a couple favorites here. Also, under uploads, this is where you can tap this little plus up here and upload files from your iPad or your iPhone directly into Dropbox. So if I wanted to save these listing photos, I can jump and just make them available on my iPhone or on my uh, computer. Let's say I'm going to make a video or something or flyers I can move them around very simply without having to email them out or syncing up the uh, the devices so you can upload as much as you uh, you would like I have a little folder set up that says iPad photos and uh, I can tap that go back in here uh, create a new folder if I'd like and then start saving things to the new folder rather than taking up all the room on my uh, on my smart device so I uh, hope you use Dropbox. It really will help set you free. And uh, enjoy.